Welcome to another edition of the Firefighter's Kitchen. Today we're at Valkyria, Florida with Brevard County Fire Rescue with Brad Helen. And we're gonna heck hook up a batch of some of the sweetest, hottest ribs you ever had called. He calls it his Caribbean ribs, made with some of his own homemade grown peppers. So stay tuned and we're going in to do some cooking. Tell me what you got here. We've got some red Caribbean habanero ribs with guava paste. How do you, well how's uh, what's that, uh, barbecue sauce there, what do you got well, there? Well that's the barbecue sauce that we made with the habaneros and the guava paste. We cook it in a roaster for five hours, take the paste, take all the juices, reduce it for an hour, and that's what becomes of the sauce. Right on. So, so how do you, so what did you add to the paste? Uh, uh, you had seen it you, two habaneros. Two habaneros. Oh. Caribbean red habaneros. Okay. Three cloves of garlic. Two squares of guava paste, and then just the ribs and some water. And you roast them for like two fifty for uh, four hours, and or two hundred and five, whichever the case may be. Hang on. So what? Two three minutes per side. Right on. Wow, this looks fantastic. I can't wait to taste this. Be careful. It's got a little bit of heat to it. A little it. bit of heat. A little bit of heat in the end. It's nice and sweet up front, the heat in the end. Yeah, but you know what? You got the sweet and the heat going on here. It's so fantastic. You strain out the habaneros. You're not actually yeah, getting yeah. the actual habaneros. I mean, you can taste the, the habanero itself, but you can't, um, it's not overbearing. Like, I don't like stuff really hot. But I do like the taste of a habanero. And uh, yeah. you got the garlic and the guava paste gives it that sweet, yeah. the sweet. And then you got the mango sticky rice, which is a little bit of both. Yeah, that looks coconut, awesome. With the coconut milk. Oh yeah, it's got mangoes, coconut milk, and what, red onion? Red onion. That's a good side, man, it tastes good. But let me tell you something, this, these ribs are fantastic. That's my favorite word, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And no, they're not any of the local pigs from Bulgaria here. We didn't get a chance to get one of those. Okay. Um, it, well, this is this is you did a fantastic job. Thank you very and much. Tell, tell me a little bit about your station here. Where are you guys located at? We're in Bulgaria, um, right off of Bulgaria Road, in the middle of the woods, right near Bulgaria Airport. It's a little slow, quiet place. We like to say, what doesn't happen in Bulgaria stays in Bulgaria. <laughs> So you guys basically take care of uh, like brush trucks. I mean, yeah, I see you got some brush trucks out there. So there's a lot of, a lot of brush fire yeah, potential because you got like ranch homes, yeah, a lot of ranch homes and stuff like that. So you guys got to put together a good dish that's, that's going to be good to give you lots of energy during the day because you never know when you get hit with that brush fire. And it's easy to reheat. But tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, my name is Brad. I'm here at 87. I've been with the county for about 15 years. Right on. Happily married with four kids and other than the fire department, I love to cook my ribs. Yes, they, I tell you what, you could win a prize. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is some of the best tasting ribs. You got sweet and heat all together. I really appreciate what you did here. And we, the firefighter's kitchen, well, it's you hit Thank superb. You very much. 